On Wednesday, March 2nd, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai called Supreme Master Television team members to inquire about their well-being. She also expressed her concern and sadness over the crises in Ukraine and answered questions by the team on the topic. Recently, Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky officially signed an application for EU membership. And in a speech via video link to the EU Parliament, he said, prove you are with us, prove that you will not let us go. Uh Master, why has the EU not yet immediately accepted Ukraine into the European Union? You asked the wrong guy. (laughs) If it were me, I immediately say, okay. Because this is an urgent situation. They need support mentally, at least. That's right, Right, Master. Yeah, just like they have someone. Yes. That's what neighbors are for. You know, they worry that uh, if they go too far or too hard, then uh, Russia will not give them oil and gas. Cheap. The whole of Europe depends on uh, Russia for gas. Oh, right. And America also crazy. Imagine that. Oh. I'm not sure if anything else is more important because this is just burning in their own home. Yes. Uh-huh. I um, can't remember if Europeans have it or not, but America can also supply Europe if they uh, go ahead with their project. Right. But uh, Biden just immediately deleted that project the first day he was in office already. You know that. Oh, yes. Immediately, more than 10,000 people lost their jobs just at the stroke of his pen. Just like that, without even saying, okay, we'll give you a period of time to find some other job or something. Right, Master. Yes, Master. I don't know this guy. All these egos. Egos is making a mess of the world. So they don't care about anybody who dies and to live in front of them. Because they they are well. They're too good. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. That's true. Their life is too good, too comfortable. I think that is one Main reason, huh? Yes, 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 yes master. master. People in the physical world, they worry more about physical things than anything else. Yes, that's true. Your tooth hurting is more important than somebody dying outside your door. Uh, or pain in the operating room. Yes, Master. Yes, master. People in this world, uh, most are selfish, very unconcerned, uncaring. Love is very, very thin. Loving quality is very thin. Yes, Master. They just think too narrowly, okay? Too short term. Yes. It's so simple just to have it from Russia instead of making your own. All right, Master. Master. But life is not always about convenience. And if you always care about convenience, one day you might be in for a shock, like your life is not convenient anymore. Yes, that's yes, true. Yes, yes, Master. Yeah, like every day eating meat, and now we have a pandemic. We always have this and that, and pandemic or or kind of infection going on. Mm-hmm. And then outbreak of war also. It's not just that. Yes. Uh, so it's inconvenient to change, you know, the law, or make meat obsolete, and make vegan a norm. Yes. Uh, yes, Master. For everyone to survive. This is a question of survival. It's not just about fashion. It's serious. Yes. It's not a game, but they just couldn't capish. They could not change. Because of habits, because of convenience. Uh, yes, Master. Uh, why uh, offend the powerful meat industry? Yes. Mm-hmm. And why do I have to change the taste in your mouth? Life is okay. For them, right. yes, master. Yes, master. everybody is just lazy affair, you know. Yeah. They don't want to do anything new, even though it's a life and death matter. So the same with the Europeans. They all stood up. I I saw on TV, they reported that the, uh, President uh, Zelensky's passionate speech yes. uh-huh. made them feel kind of impressed, and they all stood up for a standing ovation. Yes. Right. And the translator was choked up with emotion oh. because maybe he spoke so well and so true from his heart. That's right, Master. Right, yes, and he he made a picture, you know, with his speech. So people can imagine 
what kind of suffering his people have to go through. Yeah. Yes. Even I want to cry thinking about that. I didn't read his speech, though. I just think, you know, you don't have to. You can see on the news, people suffer so much, so many children. Oh, and family separated. Husbands stay behind to protect the country, send wives and kids away, and they didn't want to go, but they have to. And, and some, some just go and die just, just to sacrifice for their people. Yes, yes, yes. And it didn't have to be this way. No, it didn't. It did not have to be. No. We, we suffer enough already. That's right. My God, and make more trouble, more bloodshed, more sorrow. Why? Just, just, just to fit the ego. And then the hellfire will fit you in hell. That they don't know. Yeah. It's not yeah. just about in this lifetime you suffer. After you die, you will suffer more and more and more, and nobody is there to help you. That is the thing. At that time, nobody is there for you. Your army is not there, your advisors are not there, your flatterers are not there, your wife, your kids, nobody. Your priests, you know, your church people, nobody's there for you. Just you suffer endlessly. My God, this is terrible. Terrible. I wish they would know all this and stop all the madness. Yes, yes Master. Not just for the people in this world, but for themselves. For God's sake, please. Please, God, make them know. <laughs> but the thing is... <coughs> Our world is so much in debt, blood debt. So things are happening like this, out of anybody's control. Just some of the zealous demons, I didn't realize Putin is also one of them. I did not realize, oh. because of all the things he's done and he looked good. Yes, Master. Like love animals and all that. Yes. Uh, there's also another thing. I hate to say it, but maybe they are a little bit weak. So long they have not been in the war. Mm, right. And now they can kick back and relax and don't want to go into the battlefield or be involved in it. Yeah. Yes, Master. Yeah, yeah, like sending people to die and all that. They don't want the citizens to suffer anymore. So many wars in Europe. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes, and the, just about maybe 20 years ago, there was a war also in Europe that almost uh, broke out in the bigger scenery. Yes, Master. Remember from uh, Yugoslavia? I think he was the Serbian leader. Yeah, and then uh, Serbia and Bosnia and almost had the World War. It's just some lame excuse. They say that, oh, this is a process. Like, if you join the EU, there's a long long process and takes sometimes years. Oh, God. Yeah. That's normal. Yes, when you have time. That's the right. The protocol right now, people are dead in front of your door already. Y yes, Master. Yes. yes. Situation is different. It's urgent. And if they are not sticking together or helping each other like a neighbor suit, then maybe the war will come into their house. Oh. Right. Yeah, War. Ukraine is next to Europe. Yes, true. yes, it is. So close. That's why Putin took Crimea so that he has some connection already with Europe. Mm. And then now he's all over in Ukraine. And if he takes over Ukraine, all the neighbors will be one by one eaten up. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. And I'm not sure if at that time the Europeans or NATO could even be strong enough to turn to the table or not. Yeah. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Without a lot of bloodshed or damage or, you know, destruction again, like World War. Oh, goodness. And there will be a lot, a lot of immigrants and all that. And during this, the pandemic will not leave you in peace yet. And then if immigration is like that, how will they take care? Right. Yes, That's right. How oh. will they take care with a big gathering everywhere like that? Right, true. And uh, disease will spread all over, uncontrollable. Yeah. Right. Oh, goodness. Yeah, you imagine that. How will they have enough masks to cover all of them, or medicine, or distance? 
Not possible. No. That's true, Master. Any gathering is a is a risk, big risk. Well, yes. Yeah, yes, that's right. And then no matter if they left their home, they would die with Omicron or whatever. Yes. Because of lack of medicine and facilities and hospitals. Yes, yes Master. Master. And doctors and infrastructure to deal immediately with so big an influx of people. Yes, Master. Mostly children and, and elderly and women who are more vulnerable to this kind of situation. And it's still winter in Europe. It's cold. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. How can they bear all this? How can they even take care quickly enough? Yes, Master. That's right, Master. They were talking in Belarus, but I think Russia just wants to distract the Ukrainians and uh, and the world just to talk, 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 but uh, his demands and uh, all his conditions are impossible mm. for people to agree to. Yes, yes Master. Master. And so uh, the European Union, they are too comfortable, I guess, even in a pandemic and all that, but they don't want to offend Russia, even though uh, there is a big improvement already. I have to appreciate that. Like even Sweden, normally they're neutral and they don't want to get involved in any fighting at all. Uh -huh, yes, Master. Yeah, and German even say they would never send any weapons to any war zone. Yes, That's their policy. And they they broke that to send something for Ukraine. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. And even Switzerland did something to help. Oh, wow. And America is also supposed to send something, but I don't know how they would get in there how they would even bring it in by land, because airspace is already closed. Oh, yes. yes, yes. So they cannot use airspace to bring anything in to Ukraine. Mm, yes, right. Master. And on the roads are Russian everywhere. If uh, Putin say that, that the Ukrainians are harassing his people or ethnic cleansing, then why are these two regions, you know, separated regions still there? For him to come in to protect. Yes. <laughs> For his right. army to come in to protect. Yes, yes Master. Master. Because if the government wanted to get rid of them, they would have done it more cleanly. I mean, the government of Ukraine. I guess the government did not really want to kill their own people. Right. Even if they are from Russian origin. <laughs> yes, yes. But they were in the country already. They are citizens of Ukraine. Yes, yes Master. Master. President Zelensky, before uh, he was uh, elected, he promised to bring peace within the country, meaning with the rebels, with the separatists, yeah? But it did not happen yet. That means they were just taking time. Oh, yes, Master. Yeah, they wanted to negotiate. They did not really want to oppress these two regions. Mm, right, that's true. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been that difficult. Only two small regions. Yes, 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 yes. It wouldn't have been difficult for the government to suppress them or get rid of them somehow. Yes, yes, yes. Because if they could fight the mighty Russia right now, then they could have done with these two small little regions. Right, that's true. Separated within their country. Correct. Is that logical to you? Yes, very logical. Yes. People are not stupid. They know. They can see it. Yeah. There was no excuse to come in to make matters worse between their own brothers and sisters. It's really, he wants to protect these people. He should have opened a dialogue and called both of them come to talk or something, offer some advice, offer some assistance so that they both can be at ease, okay, or at peace with each other. No, just want to come in and kill children, women. They don't care. Putin did not care about anybody because he's a... He's one of the zealous demons. Oh. Ah, you can tell. Now you can tell. Yeah, now we can you, see. Yes, Master. Before, I also did. I don't go around checking everybody. And now, because of the pandemic, it's uh, like a Armageddon now. So the zealous demons, they are also behind whoever are their people, their team. Yes, Master. They run up and down, in and out, west, east north-south, to support different big figures, you know, like P, Francis, like Biden, mm -hmm. yes, Master. Pelosi, or like Putin. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, not all of the Russian government or 
people are Azilis demons. Not all of the people who work with Putin or are supporting Putin are zealous demons. They are just too long being trained well to obey him. Oh, right. Because if you're not, then you go to jail already or poisoned, yes. assassinated. But still, sooner or later, each alliance group has to take care of themselves because the world is unpredictable. Oh, right. That's right, Master. People are unpredictable. Sometimes some people die, and if the body is still there and healthy, some of the demons will take charge of that body, so that body wakes up again like a living person. Oh, wow. And uh, continue working. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. And it's worse still because they have the body. Oh. Like Putin, for example. Wow. Oh. Or Biden. They have human bodies. They can work more effectively. Oh. Like Pete Francis also. They are in a mighty position. They can do anything. All oh, right, yes. yes. Nobody can stop them. Any other questions? Yes, Master. The French finance minister, uh, Bruno Le Maire, said the West is going to wage an economic and financial war on Russia, and we're going to cause the collapse of the Russian economy. Mm. And in response, uh, Dmitry Medvedev, Russia's former president and prime minister, who is now the deputy chairman of its Security Council, uh, he threatens France with real war. Hmm. Will this actually happen, Master? Possibly. Oh, wow. Putin and his gang, they would do anything. Even if they might lose, they would try. Okay. Oh. They fear nothing. Yes. Now that they started already, they can just keep moving. They wanted to. Actually, there was a secret accidental leaking on the internet. Uh, his uh, support, uh, you know, the President Lukashenko? Yes, Master. He was pointing at the map of uh, Ukraine, like an invasion. But also there was a red uh, arrow or something pointing at Moldova. Yes, Master. And he said, like, that will be the next step. Oh, okay. mm. Why Moldova, Master? Because it's next to Ukraine, smaller. Not much of a defense system there. And if they take over Ukraine, then the next easy one is Moldova. Yes, that's yes. Right. And after that, he will keep going one at a time. The ambition is so huge, so wide, so wicked and brutal. They don't care who dies and who doesn't. They just want to make a big name, even if it's negative. Mm. Yes, Master. Mm. These people, they just so attention craving. Yes, yes, Master. And then after the vaccination and then the isolation, nobody is adoring him anymore. Wow. Uh, so he has to seek attention somehow, even in a brutal way. Because like this, he didn't have to go out and talk to people and being infected by the public anymore. He can send his people, go out and do it for him. Oh, the nice. soldiers. Yes, yes. Master. But I'm glad there are many Russian that just surrender. They didn't want to fight. Yeah. One of the whole unit surrendered. Wow. Oh, yeah. Good for them. Very good for them. Yeah. So I told you, not everybody who is supposed to look like supporting Putin are demons. Yes. Mm, yes, yes master. master. But still, they need to listen to him. He's a commander in chief. Yes. Right. Yes, master. Yeah. If uh, he knows in advance or, or during battle, if, if somebody is there, they will kill them, the soldiers, if they don't fight. Yes, right. Mm. So some of the soldiers use an excuse. They punch their, their, their gas tank. Oh. oh. Uh, so the, the vehicle cannot move because they don't want to fight. Right. And some, uh, I saw one letter of the Russian soldier who wrote to his mother before he died. He said, Mama, this is too sad. Meaning he didn't like at all this. This war, you see? Yes, yes Master. Master. I mean, to win the war, the soldiers had to have high morale, correct? Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. And uh, really know a good cause to fight for. Yes, yes, yes that's right. right, Master. And right now, 16,000 people from different countries are going into Ukraine voluntarily, no no payment wow. to fight. Yes. Wow. Because this is really... Despicable. Yes. It is really bullying and it's really brutal.
it's really demonic. Understand me? Yes, yes Master. Master. It it's is. not like two countries fighting together. No. No. It is one country that comes in wanting to invade. Yes, yes one side. The weaker country. Yes, Master. Yeah. And then many all around neighbors, all the world, the big government, big shot, didn't do anything. And the beginning, you know, now they're slowly doing something. Mm. Yes, Master. Because they probably finally realize it, that this truly, this is the case of demonic possession. Possession. Demonic war is not real. Yes, yes. It's not like a real war. Not the fair fight. Yes. This is truly brutal. Come in and just kill the woman, children, or anybody like that. Of course, if you keep bombing buildings, then people will die. Yes, yes, yes Master. Yes, master. <sighs> Not just bombing um, the military area, but anywhere, any area. People's houses, people's buildings, yes. yeah. like that. And, and kindergarten, children. Yeah. yeah, and even hospitals. This cause really will burn people inside and push them to want to help. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Even I feel that way. Of course, I won't do it. I know that. Yes, yes, master. But still, it pushes you to feel that way. Yes, That yes, you right, want to master. go out and protect the weak, the innocent. I mean, they're just innocent. They didn't do anything to Russia. Right, master. Many countries break up with the communist system, not just Ukraine. And they cannot claim Ukraine as their own country. It's ridiculous. Yes, yes, yes master. master. But as I told you, any aggressive dictator or greedy warmongering invaders. If they want to invade your country, they say anything. Right. And now Putin began the similar thing. He wants to colonize other people's country, killing other people, children, innocent, all alike. Yes, yes, yes master. master. Because when you bomb, the bomb doesn't know which one is what. Yes, yes true. true. You cannot tell the bomb, say, okay, don't bomb the children, don't bomb the, the woman, no? Yeah, it does right, not discriminate. Master. Yeah, that's what it is. They know all that. It's couldn't kill it. Couldn't kill it. Because they're demons. Yes, yes master. master. Just that the country, people cannot see it. Only some can see. But number one, they won't dare to say anything. And even if they say it, nobody will believe them. Because Putin here established himself so well already. Yes, yes, yes Master. Almost like a hero for the country. Mavidev. I was surprised at this guy also. I was thinking, he's a good guy. Yes, Master. You know, better than Putin. Yes, mm. Not so... Uh, Dictative, not so violent. But now he he show his true face. Same stuff. Mm, yes. Right, Master. Yeah, he keep threatening the whole world also, not just France now. Okay? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, he say, or oh, Putin say, both of them, that if any country interfere with their invasion, they will have consequences which they never had seen before. Yes, Master. Meaning very, very brutal, very, very final, okay? Like uh, eliminating kind of World War style, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes, Master. They did raise their, their nuclear uh, deterrent uh, alert levels for that. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. And that's why some of the country also are afraid because of that also, yeah? Yes. That's why they hesitate whether or not to accept Ukraine. I would just accept. Because if you don't, they still will advance on you anyway. Oh, right, yes. Master. To your country soon. And once they have Ukraine, Europe is just the next street. Yes, yeah. Master. Yes, Master. Next door. That's right. Yeah? Yes. Yes, Master. <sighs> Ukraine is like a frontier. You see what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Master. So now they are fighting for their country, but also for Europe in a way. Yes. True, Master. Yes, Master. And a true neighbor will help their neighbor when they are injured or in need, yes. no matter what. At that time, you cannot say, oh, I have baby, I have children. You cannot come to my house, even if you're wounded. Yes, yes master. master. The good neighbor is open the door when your neighbor needs you. That's right, yes, master. master. A friend in need is a friend indeed. They're also friends. They're European together. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Even yes, though master. they have not joined yet. Because to join the European Union, they make it such a... First, like that. That's why maybe Ukraine could not. Yes, master. I have to report many things. Yes, master. Yeah, and open everything. I have to open it all in order to join European Union. Yeah. Yes, yes, Must master. Must also have money as well. Yes. Mm. 
A lot, a lot, a lot. Yes, mm. yes, yes. But this is a like a desperate situation. Need desperate measure, you know. Yeah, right, that's master. right, master. At least just to show the solidarity. He only asked for his country to join European Union. He didn't ask for your money or obligation or nothing. Yeah, that's right. And and and, and talking and fighting about uh, British want to you know Brexit. They didn't like, okay? Mm. Keep always delaying or wanting to get Britain back into the European Union. And now somebody volunteered to go in, and a good and clean country don't let. Mm. Huh? Why is that? Is Ukraine maybe poorer than England, that's why? Perhaps, yes. Not so mighty, yeah? Yes, like yes, a, right. Like a quiet country, peaceful. Yes. Yes, ma'am. That's not fair, is it? That is not no. real union, is it? No, no master, it's not. it's not. Yeah, the way I see it, it's not. Okay? That's right, master. Oh. And a union should be there to really help those yeah. in need. That's what a union should be there for. Yeah. And even if they are not yet joined the union, but your neighbors. Yeah, that's right, master. Besides, if they don't have Ukraine, soon they will be their turn. Mm. Yes, it's true. Yeah, because... Putin and, and their gangs now are very, very into it, okay? Yes. They don't want to back off now. Only grace of heaven intervention, otherwise the war will continue. Oh. And they have nuclear. What what do they fear? Yes, yes master. master. You know, fear each other. That's a problem, you see? Many countries have nuclear, so now they all fear each other. This is also good. But if one guy who don't care anymore because knowing the opponent is fearful of nuclear, then he will use it. Uh, yes, yes, he senses yes. that Europe is weak. Just new, you see? Mm -hmm. But already broken. Like uh, Brexit, yeah? Yes, yes, master. And then Ukraine is just, uh, you know, a normal and small and peaceful country. And they already beat one important part out of Ukraine already. Swallow it whole. So, and then they already stir up two more regions to make Ukraine weaker, you see? So now he feels like he can do everything. He can con conquer Ukraine and then the next. Already thinking of Moldova. Yes, Master. And then after Moldova, you can guess. Okay, huh? Yes, Master. Yes, master. If Europeans are so weak. And so dependent or so scared of, of, of no gas. Then so many weak points. So easy if you have holes in, in your walls, even small holes. The ants will come in, the other insects will come in, mosquitoes will come in, and they will bite you. Yes, master. Sooner or later, you'll die of disease. This is the European Union. They also want peace. They only want peace. They don't want war. Right, Master. Yes, master. Also, that's why they hesitate. They don't want to be involved in any more bloodshed. Yes. And make it bigger. They thought maybe if they don't react, then it would be smaller somehow. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. In the beginning, they didn't believe that Putin would do it anyway. You see? Right, Master. Yes. And that's why also everybody's slow until... Until it's too late, yeah? Kind of late. Yeah. Because if they all sit there and what the Ukrainian being bullied and and die alone, then this is really shameless, you know? Yes, yes Master. Then, then I don't think God or heaven will forgive them. I mean, you are in the world. You have to act accordingly, yeah? Yes, yes Master. Master. If your neighbor is in trouble and some bully come and beat them up, you have to come and help in any way you can, no? Yes, yes To stop it, yeah? That's right. Yes. You yes. cannot just say, oh, I don't like to fight. I never like to fight. And let the neighbor just die in anguish like that? No. Huh? And you don't know. Maybe that bully will come to your house next. Right, yes, true. Yes. Yeah, when he won, he will feel mighty, and then he'll come to your house and beat you up yes. for any reason. Maybe for money, for land, for anything. Yeah? Jewelry. So all the neighbors should get together and help that lonesome neighbor and kick out these bullies and robbers. Yes, yes master. master. Yeah, murderers and bully. That is the way people should behave, no? True, Master. Yeah. The same in Ukraine. 
it truly, this time it's truly a good cause to fight for. Yes. And to help. Yes, yes Master. Master. Yeah. Oh, I don't mean they have to fight like killing people and all that, but they could use their presence, their strength. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. And their weapon to scare the Russian away. Yes, yes Master. With too many countries come together, I don't think Russia will have enough courage to continue to fight with the whole world. Mm. Yes, Master. If the whole world come in. Right, yes. Master. Even now. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Just because they left Ukraine alone, lonely like that, to die. This is terrible on their conscience. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. And they have weapons, they have power, they have armies. All of them have. If they get together, that would be a oh, tremendously mighty force. They would, Master. I think Russia will go away, even now. Mm. Even now, even though already begin, they still can do it. Yes, True. Master. They're only next door. Right. It's so simple to just walk over there and help a neighbor in need. Don't let all the Ukrainians die like that, or the children or women die like that. And now they have to immigrate to other country in the winter with just a pair of clothes on their body and with the children and no milk, no food with them. And it's a queue on the highway and there's a risk that the Russia will bomb them. Bomb these uh, immigrants. Um, yes, Master. Please keep in my foot. Even two years old kid won't bite that. Huh? Yes, Master. Please keep in. They are disturbing people's peace. Mm. Turn people's life upside down and kill them mercilessly. Yeah? Yes, yes Master. Please keep in. <laughs> Ooh, only demons can talk like this. Because even humans, they would have some shame, you know? Mm. Even lowly human or less intelligent human or even not very friendly human, they would feel shame. They wouldn't tell lie like that, yeah? Yes, Master. Opposite of what their action is, you see? Yes. I didn't realize that the, the Mevedev was also a demon. Whoa. I did not realize that. Only today. Whoa. When I read the news, then I check him out. I check. And both of them are same. Oh, no. No wonder they get on so well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it could happen, okay? Yes, Master. Because these demons, they are not fear of anything, but only if the whole world get together and show the unity. Mm -hmm. Yes, Master. World union, then Russia will back off. Back off. Yes, yes Master. Master. Yeah. Well, on that note, Master, I guess if all the whole world uh, got together and showed force, uh, but because both of those guys, Putin is a, a zealous demon, wouldn't he want more, more, possibly more deaths? And then in that case, there's a, more violence now? No, because his people will also not want to fight. Mm. Uh, see, yes, Putin yeah. cannot fight without his soldiers. Uh, his soldiers already, many already don't feel like fighting because they know it, it, it's not a good cause. Yeah. Shoulders, they're normal. They have their ideal. You know, they have their, some nobility in them. Just they have to obey up to now. But fighting, killing people for nothing like this, for, for no reason like this, they don't want to. And also I read that the army, also some are, most are very young and untrained and inexperienced and all that. So they die a lot. 6,000 already up to date. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Soldiers die. And many surrender just because they didn't want to fight. What for? You go into just a, a neighbor country and they do nothing wrong to you and you just shoot them? Mm, that's right. I mean, any decent man would not do that. Yes, right, that's true. Especially master. young people. They have their ideal, you know? Yes, yes they have conscience. They're not used to this kind of brutal mentality. Yes. Yes, master. First they freeze in, in such a makeshift camp and now they have to go into battle and just die like that. You see, that's why the Ukraine soldiers, they're winning, because they have ideal. Yes, yes, Master. They have their goal. You see, they have their truly passion for it. Yes. Because mm. they truly want to protect their country, their people, because they know this is not a just cause for war. That's right, Master. Putin has no cause for war. That's why... His army is low morale and the 
Ukrainians, they fear nothing. Yes. Mm. They think of way to deter Russia, and they did succeed in many ways. So for 6,000 more or less, you know, maybe more now, uh, Russian die, only 137 Ukrainian casualty. Wow. They have strength of their courage and their nobility, their protective instinct with them. Yes, yes Master. Master. And they are good and righteous, and they're praying every day. So they're winning. If you have a goal, you have a noble ideal, then you will fight with all your heart. Yes, yes Master. Master. Yeah. Right. And this is a, an energy that even the enemy will feel it. You got that? Yes, yes, that's true. That's why the Russians, finally, they realize what Putin wants, which is crazy and brutal and wicked, vicious, violent. So they did not feel like they should fight Ukraine, who has done nothing wrong to them. The thing is, if all the, the world get together, Putin cannot kill all of them at the same time. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and they also can kill Putin people. Yes, yes Master. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. So... Putin should be afraid of, of the world, not not the, the contrary. That's exactly right. right they should think in that way, not think of Putin's way. Yes, Master. Mm. Even die, then both sides will die. Yes, yes. It's not just Ukraine or the world people. And they have many people get together. Mm, yes, yes Master. Master. Bigger than the Russian army. Russian army, uh, 150,000 something. Mm. Yes. But when the whole world get together, imagine that. Yes. Even just European country and all the NATOs surrounding Ukraine is a big force already. If they really want to fight, if they really feel the heat that Ukraine is alone fighting a big wolf. Yes, Master. Yeah, and they fight with all their might like that. They should feel ashamed not to help such a courageous and, and righteous country. And good people like Ukrainian. Yes. yes, Master. Exactly, yes. Master. Even I feel such an injustice that if I don't know better, I would have also want to go there and help them, you know, in any way I can. Yes, yes Master. Master. I don't like bully, yeah? Yes, yes. yes. I don't like injustice. I don't like such an ugly, bloodthirsty demon. Yes, yeah. Master. All right. Master, the president of Ukraine predicts that Russia will threaten NATO members if it eventually gains control of Ukraine. Does Master have any comments on President Zelensky's prediction? Of course. Of course. It is, it is logical. Yes, it is, Master. And he is already pointing to Moldova next. Yes, Master. Because they're most convenient after Ukraine. Weak. You see what I'm saying? Yes, Master. If the, the war don't do anything, he will continue. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right, Master. Because all the NATO country just next to Ukraine. Hmm? Yes. And if even if he, they can threaten Paris, what do you think? They worry about any other smaller country? Mm. No. no. France. No. Yes, yeah. Master. Do you understand? Yes. yes. France has nuclear weapons even. Yeah. And the goals France. Not just anybody's France. You know, General de Gaulle? Yes. You understand? Even if he died already, but it's not just any country. Yes, yes Master. France uh, is one of the countries who liberate all the Jews and all the prisoners in the World War with Hitler. Remember that? Yes, Master. Yeah. And he dare threaten France even. Well, not him, but de Gaulle partner. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. France is European Union also. Yes. yes. And he dare threaten France. Then you know they're not uh, uh, afraid to to mow other country. Mm, right, Master. In the peacetime, nobody would think to join any union. Yes. Right, Master. Yes, Master. And now it's a war time, and and Ukraine needs help. But, uh, NATO is still, uh, you know, uh, dari dari. And European Union is sissy sassy like that. Mm -hmm. The war is already at their door. Yes, yes, Master. And they're still sissy sassy, thinking of protocol. Yeah. Of bureaucracy. Yes. Ah, 
I don't know if they could even protect themselves if they're not so decisive and not so strong in mental capacity. Yes, yes, yes Master. It's your attitude that counts also, okay? Yes, that's right. right. That's why the Ukrainian they're winning, even though they're no match for mighty Russia. Yeah. They don't have so much sophisticated uh, war weapon like Russia. You see, smaller country even, and they can win because their attitude, because they're determined to fight against injustice and bully. Yeah. Yes, yes, master. master. So if European Union don't see that as something worthy of respect and assistance, then uh, European countries will lose also. Yes, Master. Uh, fearful of uh, putting uh, gas and oil, fearful of that, fearful of this, uh, then uh, Putin will continue. Yes. yes. Because when you fear, people sense it. Yes, that's right. Putin is not like newly trained in war, you know? Mm, that's right. Is it KGB as well? Yes, Master. And he know many things, and he's a communist. Yes, Master. Yeah. The communist not supposed to believe in anything, God or anything. So how would Putin be brought up, huh? Mm, right, Master. A better person, huh? Even if he's not a demon, how would he be brought up in your imagination? Mm -hmm. huh? Right, Master. Ah, that's why they're brutal. Mm -hmm. They have no faith. Mm -hmm. Not to talk about if he's demon or not. They don't have anything to hold on to. Yes, yes, right, right. Yes. This kind, okay? And now they are empty, empty of love, empty of faith, empty of anything, and sit on top of Russia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, feel mighty. And everyone around him either flatter him, listen to him, praise him, or else, prison or poison. Yes, yes Master. Master. Yeah, according to the news, it's everybody knows. Yes. Yeah. How come nobody else is poisoned in that way or killed in that mm -hmm. way? Only these people who escape from him or who against him. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Uh, this is not coincidence, is it? No, no, no it is not. One, one more question, Master. Could the war in Ukraine have been prevented? Could. Could. Mm. Just did exactly like Putin did. Put an array of army at the border of Ukraine. All right. Facing Putin. Not to fight or anything, but so that Putin know we're ready. Right, right. Yeah? Mm. If you want to kill us, we will also kill you. Mm. You don't have to fight. Prevent it. Yes, yes, yes. Prevention is always better than cure, that's what we say, yeah? Yes. Yes. If Putin already give the whole world months of preparation, everybody knows that. All the intels, tell Biden, tell the European, tell everybody. Even the last minute, uh, Biden also announced that uh, Russia will, will attack Ukraine in 48 hours, even that. Yes. Still, they didn't do it. At that time, they still have time to fly in. Right, Master. Yes. At that time, Ukraine still have airport. Yes, yes Master. Master. At least something. And in Europe, all the army can get together, a neighbor. Yes, yes, they're right there. Yeah, NATO and all that. Yes. But they just let Ukraine die alone, fight alone or die alone. Especially Biden. He has to be looking like he's against Putin, but he's not, because they're together. Oh. You can see his action. He said, I sanction this, sanction that, but he did not even sanction Putin personally yet. Mm. Number one. Number two, he'd rather buy Russian gas and all that and let his people starve and jobless mm. and dependent. And also he said, oh, all the sanctions are slowly, slowly. Yeah. One a little bit, one at a time. <laughs> and then still, it won't work immediately. It will take a long, long time. That's what he said. He won't send an uh, army. He sent some. Putin already building up his uh, military camp many months already. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, Master. Master. At least two months, the whole war no. Biden knows. He said he will not send soldiers to fight in UK, number one. Number two, uh, he sent a little bit something before. Putin has 100 50,000 strong, and he sent maybe 800 or something oh, wow. to go somewhere, uh, waiting in case. Mm -hmm. oh. Go there, do what? Drink coffee? 800 people sit together, drink coffee, keep warm? Mm -hmm. 
are getting the 150 dollars. See what I'm saying? Yes, yes, master. Yes. yes, can be prevented if they already know. This was sanctioned before, not now, when he's already killing people in Ukraine. Mm, yes. Right, master. When his tank already rolling inside the country of Ukraine. Yes, that's right. When his army, his people already take over Chernobyl and bombing Air Force and all that. Mm, yes, master. And bombing uh, children, kindergarten and hospital and all that. Do you understand me? Yes, yes master. master. And it's more difficult now to bring weapons in because the Russians are on the road. Yes, that's right. Already controlling some point already. Yes. There is an article on the internet talking about Nostradamus predicting a seek in Paris. Paris will be seized. Yes, master. Will be controlled. Will be taken. Yes. Nostradamus was supposed to predict that for this year. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, he predicted war and all kinds of disasters already. There's another called Baba Wanga or something. And she also predicted the same. She predicted several things. It came true. It's just a coincidence. Yeah. Mm. Oh, coincidence. Because many countries also are sanctioned Russia, America also. Why did he aim at France alone to threaten? Yeah, yes, master. Before he threatened generally only, but in this text he threatened France alone. Master, um, as we know now from what you uncovered about Putin, that he's a zealous demon, mm. and he's talking about putting his nuclear forces on high alert, meaning that he could deploy mm. nuclear missiles any time. Yeah, we have to pray for heaven's intervention. Yes, Master, because it's very worrying now. <sighs> If he worries about his people and his country, then he will not. But if he doesn't care, then he's dangerous. Mm, yes, Master. Okay, Master. He could do anything. All right. Because if he worries about his people, then he wouldn't dare to use nuclear. Because if he uses it, then America will use it. Other countries will use it. And Russia will be doomed. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But I think he should consider not to use it. Because that will happen. Mm, yes. Yes, if he can use nuclear, other countries can also. Yes, that's right. Other countries are far away also, he cannot control. Yes. And he should consider not to use it, because maybe he doesn't consider his people's life or peace or safety, but he should consider if his country is kaput, if his whole country is destroyed, then he has no base. Mm, that's mm. right, Master. He has no people to rule. Mm, right, yes. Master. Yes, 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 Master. Or he himself also will be... Dead. Yes, yes. Yes, Master. And go to hell sooner. So he should consider. Yes, Master. I think he won't do it. Because he will die also. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. If he stays in Russia, he will die. If he goes to another country and nobody likes him, they will kill him. Yes, yes that's right. It's true. So it's better he doesn't use the last card. Yes. He better keep it. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. So he can still have some threatened in power. But if he uses it already, then it's finished. He's finished. Russia is finished. Mm, right, yes, Master. Then it's truly World War. Yeah, yes. Even Hitler was so mighty and has bunkers and hidden so well, nobody knew where he was in secret and all that. They still found him. Yes, yes Master. Master. Yeah. Sooner or later. Yes. Mm. And nowadays, even sooner. Because everybody has high tech. They don't have to go to your house to know that you're there. Yes. It should have been prevented. Yes, Master. Because they have many months. They know it. They have intelligence and everything. Now, what for do they negotiate? Since Russia is strong, Ukraine is weak, who is negotiating what? Mm. They just put out a lot of demands, knowing that the opposition, the so-called enemy, will not accept, cannot accept, and just goes there just to be there or to attract attention. Yes, So that people don't fight better. They're just waiting for that. So the president, Zelensky, also said the same. He said it's a waste of time talking to Russia when they keep bombing our country. Mm -hmm. We're well, still keeping the war, it's still bombing, it's still killing them. What about talking, huh? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. So everybody has to agree in order for them to let go of Ukraine. But I don't think anybody would agree. Because they're demanding impossible things. Mm -hmm. So if all the uh, nuclear are removed, then only Russia will have nuclear. Yeah. 
Yes, yes, they might as well just say, okay, come <laughs> yeah. occupy our countries. It's yeah. all for you. Welcome. Yeah. With love. Yeah. Yeah. From EU, with love. Mm. Yes, or from yeah. NATO, with love. <laughs> Make a banquet. Welcome. Them. Yeah. If they agree to that, then Europe will become Russia already. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. The moment they send all the nuclear out, throw it away somewhere, return to America, then Europe becomes the Russian Union again. Yes. Communist Union. Yes, yes, Master. No more European Union. Nostradamus also predicted that, the breakdown of the European Union. Oh. Okay. Any other question? Yes, Master. Recently, President Trump has reportedly praised Putin for the war in Ukraine as genius and savvy. That's what he said. Why would he say such a thing? I did not hear that. So I wonder if he really said that. But if he did, I told you, Mr. Trump, he doesn't really know how to formulate well right. or to express himself well. Yes, Master. He says that just like something sarcastic. Ah, oh, right. Yes, Because yes. nobody would praise an invader. Yeah, that's true. Okay, Master. So cannot anybody take a joke? Yes, yes, I guess so. <laughs> All right, that's what I think. Yes, Master. He just meant it as sarcasm. Right, okay, yes. But that would cost him something, I'm sure. Right. They will use that to sell him. Ah, uh, I see. Sell him cheap. He doesn't have much means now to... He doesn't know how to uh, clarify himself. Oh. Because he also feels fed up. Anything he said, many things he said, just uh, this is around. Yes, that's right. But at that time also, he had not invaded Ukraine yet, I don't think so. At that time, the war had not really begun yet. The army was just like still hanging around outside. All right. They came yes. in later, but it doesn't matter. I don't think he meant that just like a dark humor. Yes, Master. Or uh, sarcasm? No, that's right, yes. Thank you for clarifying that, yes, because it was worried. people take things out of context. Yes, that's true. Yeah, also misunderstood or don't have a sense of humor. Yeah, yeah. Too serious. Yeah, exactly. Only want to pounce on him, and it becomes a habit already. Yes, Master. So anything he, he said, even if good or bad, they would explain it in a different way. The thing is, Trump did not have the chance to explain. Ah, uh, yes. I guess he's tired of all these attacks all these years. Yes, Master, I understand. But just because the, he also kind of got on friendly terms with Russia, so people also immediately have this impression yes. that he is praising Putin. Right, Master. But nobody would do that. Yes, yes, Master. He should not have joked like that. Yes. Or be sarcastic like that. Yes, Master. Okay, never mind. Anyway, thank you for your answer. No problem. Yeah, that's that's much clearer now. Anything else you want to know? Or? Yes, Master. Master told the story, or read the story in the Hadith, yes. which told of the two men fighting, and then one man would go to hell. Yeah. And the other one would also go to hell because he had the intention of killing. Of course, he defends himself, but also the intention of killing. Yes. And killing is a great sin. Yes. So the Ukrainian and the Russian war... Master has mentioned that Putin for sure will go to hell and that the soldiers who fight for him would go to hell. Mm. But then what about the bravery volunteered to defend their country and in the process of fighting, they, in the process of fighting, they might kill. So would they also go to hell? Yeah, but less. Yes. yes. They would just be punished normally, generally. Uh. And also individually, it depends also. Yes. Like the people who could have died on Snake Island. They did not want to kill the Russians. They knew they were going to bomb them and they would die. Yeah. Or maybe they didn't die, maybe they just came in and captured them. Yeah. That was not very clear yet. Suddenly, they heard all this conversation <laughs> and the Ukrainian soldiers there at the frontier told the Russians to go F yourself. Yeah, yeah. That's nice and then after that, uh, they heard explosion or something or nothing and then no more contact. Mm. So they presume that they die. And the president of Ukraine also confirmed that he will give them medals later. Oh, okay. Posthumous. 
about humans uh, on earth. In this case, they were not going to hell. Yes, yes Master. Master. And uh, another soldier, very young, but he volunteered, he went to the bridge to blow up the bridge, to slow down the advance of the Russian military, because the bridge connects them to the other city where they're going in. Yes, Master. So the army did not have time to arrange it so that they can remotely do it. And then this soldier called and said, I will do it manually. And after that, boom, no more. Mm. He's gone. Right. He knew that he is going to die. Yes. Mm. Everybody knew that. So he sacrificed himself only. Yes, yes, Master. And the others, heaven will be more lenient, of course. Mm-hmm. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. To kill people because of aggression, because of greed, because of evil intention, of course you'll be in hell forever. Yes. But to kill because of defense, to protect others. Mm -hmm. This is a different case. These soldiers, they kill because they want to protect their people. Right. That is for others, not for himself. Yes. Maybe also for himself, but I don't think they think that much about that. So even if they go to hell, they will be just a short while. Right. Oh, okay. But in the Hadith, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has told you also the truth that both of them, the aggressor, wanted to kill one man and the other man fights back. That is only to defend himself. Yes. And kill others intentionally. Yes. Mm. But in the Ukraine case, they protect their country because the enemy just came in and want to kill their people. Yes, I understand. So leniency and Compassion and mercy will be heaven's judgment. So these people, they know what is bad, that they can die any moment because they jump into fire now. But for what? Not for themselves. Not to satisfy their ego or anything, not that they don't value life. They just want to sacrifice because they cannot bear this injustice and burning force of the negative of the enemy. Yes, yes, Master. I told you, even I... Would do it if I was them. Understand. If I would not been taught differently. If you are concentrate on yourself, then you are just alone, narrow, tight, selfish, and not worthy. But if you love some other things, even your pet or your people more than yourself, that you could even die for them, then it's very noble. Yes, 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 yes. Then heaven will give them leniency and will not send them to hell. Yes, Master. Yes, master. If it were me who was in charge of NATO or the European Union or America, I would ask them immediately, the moment we know the uh, intel reports that Russia is building up their force at the border, I would do the same. Mm-hmm. Yes, Master. So that they know, okay, go ahead. Huh? We ready? <laughs> yes. And so many alliances together. Mm-hmm. Yes, Master. Yes, many the countries. whole European Union, the whole NATO. The whole America yes. and allies. How can we just let Putin do anything he wants mm. and just leave Ukraine alone fighting like that? All alone in the whole world. Did you hear me? Yes, yes Master. Master. Ukraine was left all alone in the whole world to fight for the world's ideal of protecting freedom, protecting democracy, protecting their own people. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. You see the picture? Yes, 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 Master. Ukraine alone in the whole world. Wow. In the whole mighty world. They are going to let them die, fighting or not. Yes, yes, Master. Yes, yes. If Ukraine is lost, no matter if Putin advances further to other countries or not, they lost one ally. Yes, yes. yes. They lost one friend who had the same ideal with them. Do you understand me? Yes, yes. that's true. They just abandon a friend before talking about anything else, before they even know if Ukraine is noble or not. Noble or not, they deserve protection and help by their neighbors, at least. The Bible always says, love thy neighbors. So you let your neighbor be bitten or stabbed to death and their country or their property, their house is burned and their possessions looted. No, and no, you no, just sir. stand there and, and fold your hands in front of your chest. If the whole world just stands by and folds their arms in front of their chest, then I have no respect for anything at all. Yes, yes, Master. No matter if the king, queen, president, prime minister, this is all garbage to me. Yes, Master. 
because they are worldly people. They're not like monks or nuns or anything. Yes. yes. Mm. And this is a justified cause to fight. Yes. yes. Not like go interfering with other neighbors or want to be a big shot or anything. This is truly a justified cause. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Ukraine didn't do anything. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Right, Master. Russia already took a bite of their land and took another two bites already. And now yeah. want to take the whole thing and swallow up. Not like the world did not know about these uh, three regions right, that have been bitten off from the whole of Ukraine body. To join NATO doesn't mean they're going to invade or rob any country like Putin does. Mm, that's mm-hmm. right, Master. Join countries, so they just flash only. Like, okay, if they attack you, we will all be attacked. Yes. Right, then yeah. we will all be protecting you. Attacking one of us means attacking all of us. Yes, that's right. Just like protecting each other. Yes, Master. Yeah, that's all. But they are not going to threaten anybody. And Putin didn't have any NATO or anything. Go and just rob people outright. Yes, yes, Master. So who is better? But this guy, he doesn't know any reason. He doesn't know any logic. He doesn't know any of his fellow and loony tactics. Yes, Yes, Master. Yes, Master. He just blames everybody else. Now he blames Ukraine for going against him. He's furious now. That's what he says. Because Ukraine go against him, so make his invasion take too long time. <laughs> he blames Ukraine now. How dare they defend themselves? My God, life is so short and so ephemeral. Why do this kind of wicked deeds to earn a a terrible name for yourself, like a demon, like a monster, like a war monster. Yes, Master. What for do you want to go down in history like that? If he is not a demon, don't talk about that, then he's a lunatic. Mm. Yes, Master. It's crazy. He should be in the uh, asylum. Yes. yes, Master. Definitely. Lunatic asylum, not in Moscow, not in the top palace. Yes. Not in the top city. Yes, That's Master. Right. And I hope Russian soldiers other nearby advisors or government or top leader realize that he's crazy. If you listen to him, you will go to hell altogether. Mm-hmm. And I'm not threatening you. I'm a spiritual practitioner. I have five precepts. I tell the truth only because I feel sorry for you. He's maybe your leader, but he's not fit. He works with Satan, to harm your country, to harm other countries. You can see that yourself. Please wake up. Put him in the asylum and do away with war. Attack war, not attack poor innocent people, children, in any other country. Just attack war, not attack your neighbors or any other country in the world. Please wake up. Please see what he's doing, what he's saying. And know that he's not a good person, not to talk about demons or anything yet. He's not good, and he's leading you into harm's way. Please wake up. Please don't listen to him. Please take care of him. Put him in an asylum. Maybe that we do him a big favor. Make him a normal person again, so he can enjoy life, enjoy his family. Otherwise, you guys also will go to hell with him, or become widows or dead because of the war. Because he will not stop. If he's crazy, he will not stop. He doesn't have a balanced mind. Normal people don't act like this. Even the the worst dictator, they don't act like that. Even if you call them a dictator, they don't just jump onto another country just for no reason and eat up their land and kill their children and Woman and elderly and anybody like that. So you can see he's crazy. You don't have to believe me that he's a demon or a monster. You have to see what he does, what he says. Then you can analyze it. You know he's not normal. He's not in his good mind. You have to help him, bring him into a hospital or something. Check him out. Don't be afraid. He's only a man. He's just a man, and when he's wrong, you have to tell him that he's wrong. If he doesn't listen, maybe he's sick. Take him to the asylum or whatever hospital to check out his brain. Maybe you could help him and help Russia not to suffer in war and help 
your young people to come home. They are so young, so handsome, so good, so noble, so idealistic. Don't let them die in Ukraine for nothing. And bring in also people in Ukraine to die with them. Please wake up. Be a good leader. All of you can be strong. Why be afraid of one man? Putin is just one man. Without you, without the soldiers, he's nothing. Remember that. Take care of him. Put him in asylum. Heal him. And make peace for Russia, for your country, and for Ukraine, your neighbor, your good neighbor. Please, 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 I pray God that you might listen, that you might even understand, that you might wake up. Please. It's terrible. Nobody can bear it. Nobody can. Nobody can even look at me. Get stand this. Nobody can. Please, God, help us. Please help us. Children are dying. They did nothing wrong. Please help Ukraine. Please, because if you help Ukraine, you also help Russia. And if you help Russia and Ukraine, you help Europe. If you help Europe, you help the whole world as well. Thank you so much, my Lord. I know your children are not well, not good, but please help us. Our loving appreciation for Beloved Master's deep care and sympathy in this urgent situation. We pray for God's mercy and protection for all lives on earth during this turbulent time. Wishing Precious Master to be well and safeguarded by all heavens.